sorry, sorry. I'm on TV. Welcome back. I'm visiting with Lori over oh, okay. here, her well, and Terry. Up. She'll be up next. Okay. Thank you. you can, we'll visit you Mr. Lykin right now. Concentration if on I can focus. in front of us here. There yes. There Mr. Lakin is here to talk about the ARP driver's safety. But right. now, Dan mentioned earlier when you'd stepped out for a moment that it's just for 55 and older. No, anybody can take the class. Oh, anyone can take the, the class. The only thing is if you're 55 or over, any insurance company in Arkansas has to give you a discount on Ooh, your insurance. Ooh, where's Jay? Look at Jay over here. Jay's an insurance guy. <laughs> He's one of our sponsors. <laughs> oh, he is. Okay, so I say, I is an insurance guy sitting right yeah, there. Yeah. Now, is it still called drive, 55 well, Drive Alive or something like that? No, or? it's changed to uh, a driver's safety um, program. Okay. Uh, we're in the process right now this year of changing the whole shebang. The first time since we started, uh, we're we're writing up new workbooks, a new film, and uh, we got a different name for it. I can't remember what they come up with yet, but uh, <laughs> it's altogether different. Yeah, uh, we hope to have it up by um, January 2014. Uh, we will start training on it uh, in September mm -hmm. of uh, this year. Do they have different teachers, or are you the one that's doing most of them? No, it's it's different. Um, I'm I'm only it's they're doing it in Washington. I'm uh, on the approval panel. Mm -hmm. where they send me the stuff, what I think of this and that. Oh, okay. And then they take something else. <laughs> yeah. Now these classes, I mean, I, you don't have a simulator or anything, so these are just a review of right. the we rules have, of the we road? We have a CD, uh, we have a film, mm -hmm. and I talk. We have, in the workbooks, there's several um, self-evaluation quizzes that we go over. Uh, a lot of people are afraid to take the class because they think there's a test they have to pass. Okay, like a, mm -hmm. a, a driving test. Kind yeah, of all that too, but mainly yeah. even in the book at the end of the class. but. There are no tests at all. It's a, once I collect the money and give them the workbooks, I tell them, as far as I'm concerned, they can sleep through the program if they want to, but mm -hmm. uh, no, nobody has yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, most people come, they, they, of course, they want the discount, of course, but they, yeah. they're there to learn. Yeah, yeah. I, quite often uh, in the class, somebody will come up, well, I didn't know that before. Mm -hmm. And we go over a lot of the new laws, not a lot of them, but uh, there's mm -hmm. some new laws passed. Uh, mm -hmm. We go over uh, specifically, uh, uh, distractions, you know, the use of cell phones. There's been some laws come up about cell oh, yeah. phones, yeah. and uh, then we go over that. You go over the safety thing. I mean, it has been <clears throat> a few decades ago uh, <laughs> that I took driver's ed, and I can remember uh, like what to do if you start sliding. Whatever, whatever you do, don't stomp the brake. I just, I, you know, yeah. things like that. And which so way you do, do you turn? Which way you turn? And, 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 and so that. you talk about things like that. You also talk about some of the. Um, like what to do in an emergency, you know, like if you have a flat tire, to try to have those little flashing things if you have them and, and what kind of emergency kit yeah, to keep Yeah, and if in. your car breaks down, how to handle that, mm -hmm. you know, and where to stand when you're, you know, if the weather's nice, where to stand and by your vehicle, mm -hmm. not in front of it, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. either behind it or off to the side. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but going back to your first question, of who can take the class? Anybody can take it. Um, one of the reasons... Uh, I get some younger people in the classes once in a while, uh, and anybody uh, that gets a traffic violation, minor traffic violation, if they take this class, it won't go on their record. Oh, okay. And uh, the courts tell them that usually, and then so they take the class, and mm -hmm. uh, they'll have to pay a fine naturally, but uh, won't go on their record. Mm -hmm. hmm. How long does the class last? It's a four-hour class. Okay, so just like a Saturday morning? Or? Yeah, well, we have, I got four other instructors mm -hmm. in Mountain Home. Uh, I'm the district coordinator, and so I got four other instructors um, that take the classes at different times. I've got two that have classes once a month, oh. and um, I normally have two a month myself, <laughs> and then we have two instructors that do it whenever they the feel like it, mm -hmm. set up a class. Mm -hmm. And we make a, I get their class uh, scheduled by the 13th of the month, and then I send it out to <clears throat> the paper and the and different places, the radio station. Where does it meet the class? Well, we have different places. Oh, right. uh, I have two places that the facilities let me use for my classes. Normally, to have a class, you got to find a, a, someone to sponsor the class, and they have to have a place that will hold ten people or more, and um, furnish refreshments, and uh, they sponsor the class. So you're looking for those people all the time. Yeah, I, I'm not so much. I'm in. I'm going in my ninth year now, and so I've got uh, two places that sponsor a class a month for me. Mm -hmm. uh, there's another one that's uh, wanting to from now on, and 
and I've got uh, four or five other sponsors that say anytime I need somebody to sponsor class, they'll do it. And, mm -hmm. uh, I do it a little different than the other sponsors. Usually whoever sponsors a class takes the calls and, and the reservations for it. Mm -hmm. Um, I do that myself, so I can keep a record of who comes, and and I can call them back in three years to remind them. And now, do they need to take the class every year in order to get a dis an, an auto discount? Is it? It's good for three years. Good for three years. Yeah. Okay. And in Arkansas, it's up uh, up to the insurance companies how much discount they give. Ah. They give a various amount, and uh, we go over uh, different things: uh, uh, alcohol and medications, the effect they have on the body mm -hmm. for driving. Uh, we cover um, how to share the road with large vehicles, with the semis and other ve vehicles, and uh, intersections, which mm -hmm. I feel is probably the most important and dangerous place on the road. Uh, how to approach them, and what do you do if you, two vehicles come at the same time, mm -hmm. and, and uh, mm -hmm. what the to watch out stop for. The four-way stop business kind of thing, stops yeah. And, uh, and uh, we cover uh, uh, of breakdowns, uh, uh, yeah. also exercising, the importance of exercise and uh, being able to turn your head and move around. And uh, we'll also cover car fit, how you fit in your car and what you must do. Uh, you must be able to see over the string well three inches, uh, how to wear your seat belt, mm -hmm. and uh, different things about the uh, things on vehicles and uh, driving in bad weather. Uh, how to judge your speed and uh, the distance to following other vehicles so you're not following too close and uh, just all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah, a lot of things that's a great refresher. Yeah. yeah. Things, things that I, uh, you, you talk about intersections. Mm -hmm. I don't know when it happened uh, but one time I was across from somebody and they didn't have a turn signal on and I had forgotten who had the right of way. And it's supposed to be whoever's there first. Yeah. But they were turning, I think they were turning in front of me, but I didn't move because I didn't know if they were going straight or left or right or whatever. And that stuck with me for quite a long time, and I did figure out it was whoever gets, gets the intersection first. first. But sometimes you don't know if they're there first well, because we, they're just there all of a sudden. We talk about that too, how to, if you're coming to the intersection and there's other vehicles coming, how to, what you can do to avoid getting there at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If it looks like there's another vehicle coming and you're going to get there at the same time, slow down just a little yeah. bit so when they stop, your wheels are still turning. Right. Or if you feel you're still going to be there a little quick, maybe speed up just a little bit. That's, that's what stop the first. defensive driving is. You always yes. give, give them the benefit of the doubt. Right. Another thing that's uh, when I first started driving was not prevalent in, on the road was this turning lane. Now everywhere you go, you've got that third turning lane. And, and I guarantee you that the older people that, that didn't have driver's education and me, didn't, they didn't talk about that. Yeah. And a lot of people think it's, it's a deceleration and a speed up lane. It no. is, is it the rule you have to pull into it and if stop? If you come off of a, a side street, you can pull out into that turn lane, but you must stop. You mm. cannot, it's illegal to use it as an acceleration lane. Mm. So you have I to didn't stop. Know that. So other traffic. you're one of those I'm, people. I'm one of those people because I use it to <laughs> blend into traffic. Yeah. I see what you're not. What you're yeah, not I, I, I use, I use it to need, blend in. You need the discount. I use it you need because a it, it, stopping in traffic is like one of the worst things you can do. People yeah. whack you. Well, you stop at stoplights. Also, one of the problems when you stop when the light turns green, mm -hmm. hesitate just a little bit, look both ways. Oh yeah, because there's always that person that's running the there's red light. Always somebody mm -hmm. running the light. Well, this morning mm -hmm. I was coming into work, and and this guy pulls out in front. I'm going 50, and he pulls out in front of me. And a lot of people have this thought process that as long as I get out on the highway, I'm good. Yeah. They don't think about the speed of the other track or the He's speed limit. He's going to have to lock his brakes up. So he gets behind someone else and then they're going 40 and the speed limit is 55. Yeah. So when I get up to them, I get a passing area, I put my signal on and wait a minute for this guy to decide what he's going to do. No signal, no, no, nothing. And I pull out. He doesn't look around. Yeah. No signal. Yeah. And here he comes, and I'm, he's pushing me off the road. Yeah, yeah people who turn change lanes without signal, so those irritate everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there's, a, there's three things that I stress when you get into your vehicle. Mm -hmm. First is fasten your seatbelt. Just mm -hmm. make it a habit of it. Mm -hmm. Secondly is stopping, complete stops at stop signs. Mountain Home is notorious. Or come to a stop sign if there's nobody there just going around. Mm -hmm. 
but come to a complete stop at stop signs. That's a roll and go. Yeah, well, yeah. there's a story about that in California. A patrolman pulled this guy over and, and I gave him a ticket. And the guy said, well, what did I do? And the cop says, well, you didn't stop at that stop sign. He said, yeah, I stopped. And the cop says, no, you slowed down. He said, the guy says, well, same thing. So the cop pulled his billy club out and started whooping on the guy. And the guy said, stop, stop. And the cop says, well, you want me to stop or just slow down? So there's a difference between stopping and just slowing down. But, uh, yeah, the intersections are, are extremely dangerous. Um, and as far as that turn lane, um, I always tell people, if you can avoid, especially going through town, if you're going to go into McDonald's or someplace, do not go on and to make a left turn. Because people coming the other way, oh, yeah. it's coming close to the intersection, they get in that lane to yeah. make a left turn, yeah. and there you are, nose to nose. Yeah. And nobody can move, so they're very dangerous to yeah, go around. Yeah, see that lot here. Or else go on down to the uh, light, make a left turn, turn around and come back so that you're turning but into the place to the right. If, if someone wants to take a class, should they call you directly? Would that yeah, be a thing to do? Yeah, they, uh, like I say, this is what I do. I, I want them to call me because okay. I can give them the schedules. If, if right. my Saturday isn't going to work, maybe we've got a class during the week okay. that works for them. Uh, Otherwise, they call the sponsor, and, and they usually have our class schedule. And, okay. And uh, usually, if, uh, if the people that call in have a question about something, a lot of times the sponsor not sure of the answer, or I can give them an answer. Okay. For uh, well, the phone number's on the screen there. If you want to talk to Dale, go ahead and call that. Set up a time when you can uh, uh, take the class and get that insurance discount that's that's, right. that's what you need to do it for too right. and refresh your knowledge on on how to drive we that's all right. forget well you do i like do. said driver's well, ed was a long yeah, time, a long time ago. Ago. we're creatures of habit and a lot of people get a lot of bad habits mm -hmm. and they just keep doing forget it. to use the turn signal one once. one you major know. thing too at the intersections people stop and the car comes you motion for them to go uh-huh yeah. that is a, a definite no-no yeah yeah don't a definite no -no. people yeah. Are, are killed I know, and i know several that have been killed that way yeah they pull because they put the trust in the other person that sees maybe one lane but not the other yeah. one. Yeah, and never put and never trust a turn signal because you know somebody will have a turn signal on and someone will pull out and they've just forgotten to turn it off and get yeah. whacked. It's like no, 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 no. Do not pull out in front of anyone unless you've got plenty of room to get out of the way. Yeah. Don't well, trust I come their out turn off signal. the street into on the highway. There's a gas station there, and I'm at an intersection and there's traffic coming up from the left. They might have their turn signal on. So well, you could think they're going to turn down this street, mm -hmm. but they'll go by and turn into the gas station right off the street. So you got to watch. Just because they got their turn signal on, don't mean they're going to yeah. turn on your street. But yeah. maybe well, also uh, parking lots. Parking lots. Parking are lots extremely are dangerous. Oh, they are disasters. Way down. Nobody, because nobody pays any attention to the rules once they get in the parking lot. Any, any, any knowledge yeah. of, you know, driving etiquette or anything, because yeah. they're just racing for a parking space. Well, the main thing about driving, and most people don't do it, and and I have a hard time. That you got to pay, or you should pay a hundred percent attention to what you're doing, and nobody can do that. Right. Your mind's always missing something. I don't care how good a driver you are, you just can't do it. And, uh, and it takes a lot of concentration. Mm -hmm. And the distractions are like on the cell phones or even with passengers riding and you're talking, you have a tendency to look or mm -hmm. play with the radio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it only takes a second and yeah. something jumps yeah. out in front of yeah. you or, or something that you don't see. Well, call the number and um, Dale will tell you when the next classes are. I appreciate you yeah. coming by. Thank, well, thank you. you. Great you information as always. And we'll see you again another time. We'll have you back. Okay. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Up next, Lori Dayhow and Terry Argyle will be here to talk about that Lanyap, Lanyap, Hospice of the Ozarks uh, uh, event that or benefit actually, and we'll see them in just a second or two. Stay with us.